Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about something we don't talk about very often. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, Star Trek, new Star Trek, mm -hmm. and also Kevin Smith. Yes. You know? No, we're not really even gonna talk about Kevin Smith. Um, there were some comments made by William Shatner that he does not like new Star Trek. And they were made on Kevin Smith's panel at San Diego Comic-Con. Oh, how dare he? How dare he? Will Wheaton is gonna get upset. Well, I'm just, I just think it's funny because Kevin Smith, who, who shit on us for having any critique of his He-Man show. Yeah, allows William Shatner, but we're not William Shatner. So he can he can say where the hell he wants. But I think it's hilarious because he's basically saying what a lot of uh, Star Trek fans are saying, that Star Trek does not feel like Star Trek. Uh, I have tried watching Discovery. I thought it was dog shit. I haven't watched it at all, so I have no comment. I watched like an episode or two. I'm like, this isn't Star Trek. Uh, I watched two or three episodes of Picard, and I knew the show was going to make me angry. And I'm a huge fan of Next Gen. And yeah, like, I do like Next Gen quite a bit. And I'm like, this feels nothing like Next Gen. It was a bait and switch. The first episode, um, we had Data and Picard and 10 forward. And it was like a nostalgia fest. And then that's that's where it ended. And uh, it became Blade Runner after that. And yeah. I'm like, this is not Star Trek. A lot of people have a lot of problems with uh, the current era of Star Trek. Um, and we'll talk about Strange New Worlds too, because apparently that one is winning people back. Um, I've heard mixed things. I've heard some people said it was just as bad as Discovery. Other people said it's actually pretty good and it's kind of a return to form for Star Trek. And we'll talk about the Orville because the Orville is uh, significantly better than mm -hmm. actual Star Trek. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 273,000 subs. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, like, and subscribe. You know, YouTuber begging, that's what we do here. Mm -hmm. Beg, beg, beg. Um, William Shatner sounds off on Star Wars and Star Trek. So he, he he said Star Wars is shit, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, we all agree on that. Uh, during a lively Comic-Con appearance. Now, this is a guy who's, what, 90 and he's been to 91 space? 91 or something? Yeah, so he doesn't give a shit. Now, 91, he's, yeah. He was on Kevin Smith's panel because uh, he's going to be in the new season of Kevin Smith's He-Man, which yeah. I'm not going to watch. I don't give well, a okay, shit. Okay, now, here's the thing. If 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 he holds true to his word, and and I think he might have gotten, I think he got his ass smacked enough last time that he might have learned some things. He's too much of an arrogant prick to admit he learned some things, but I'm sure he got learned on some things. So if he can actually deliver a He-Man show that actually is good, I mean, and, and sticks true to He-Man, the He-Man Skeletor, not the Tila show, not the Evil Lynn show, not the Battle Boner Skeletor show, um, then you know if it's good, I'll say so, and I'll say, hey, this is a good show. If it sucks, I'll say that too. Yeah, I'm not watching it. He Fuck said it. it's going to be more He-Man and Skeletor. I don't care. I'm not but, watching it. Yeah, I, I, don't care. I probably will, and I'll be fair if he if I'm it's good. I'm not watching it. But I, he still can apologize at any given time. Yeah, he dragged us. I'm not watching. Yeah, it. but he, it's okay it. when he he lets other people drag other things so, under his watch. So William Shatner said, um, "Fuck." Fuck uh, Star Wars. I'm gonna yeah, say. Yeah, well, I agree with him on that. Fuck Masters of the Universe Revelations. Um, it can whatever. I'm I'm done. Anyway, I don't care about that. Let's talk about William Shatner because this is really interesting. I don't give a shit about Kevin Smith. I just happened to be on this panel. Uh, Shatner closed out the first night of Comic Con, and this is coming from uh, the uh, Hollywood Reporter with plenty of cursing and a look back at his storied career. An hour long chat with uh, Kevin Smith, the 91 year old actor, talked about aging, space travel and his place in the pop culture subconsciousness. Shatner's age was a running joke throughout the panel with the actor quipping he could die at any moment during the panel. None of us really want that, but that would be incredible, Smith joked. Oh my God, seriously. Uh, th throughout the Shatner on Shatner panel, um, presented by the fandom-focused company Legion, Legion M. <laughs> the icon fluctuated between, as he put it, serious and fun topics, and he talked about Kirk. When asked to address fans of other major sci-fi franchises, he said, fuck Star Wars, but not Mark Hamill. Because Mark Hamill, obviously, is in He-Man. Again, we love Mark Hamill. Uh, when asked by a fan if there were any new Star Trek series he thought rivaled his own, Shatner replied, none of them. Yeah, well, a lot of people agree with you. I got to know creator Gene Roddenberry in three years fairly well. He'd be turning in his grave at some of this stuff. <laughs> turning in his grave. That had to be an awkward conversation. Especially if Will Wheaton was in the audience. He would just be like, no! It's the bigot, best. Yeah, bigot, bigot. bigot. Yeah, because he's like, man, you know, lower lower Drex is like the best thing ever. Another point, he gave a fan a hard time for wearing a mask because the actor could not hear the man's question. 
Mask wearing is strictly enforced this year at Comic Con, the first since the coronavirus shuttered the convention for three well, years. Which is probably why they don't have as much crowds. <laughs> probably. Uh, not only did I not understand what he's talking about, but I don't understand who he's talking to, said Shatner after several attempts at asking the fan to take it off. So it's probably like freaking Kenny from South Park, like, blah, 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 blah. But what the hell are you talking about? Blah, 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 uh, Shatner talked about his trip to outer space. Yeah, Twitter tried to cancel him. Tried to cancel him I for remember. going to space. Like, did you go to space? I don't think George Takei was at this panel either. <laughs> I don't think he was. No, I doubt uh, it. Uh, oh Shatner God. said our own plan is where we're truly meant to be. Uh, it's the only fucking planet we've got. Well, that's true. We can always build another one. It can no, transform into a soon. giant robot and eat other planets. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, anyway, I think it's it's pretty awesome that he flat out said that uh, Roddenberry would be turning in his grave. It's some of this stuff. Um, now, the ratings on most of the Star Trek shows, as I understand, it, have been dropping off a clip. But they said Strange New Worlds is actually succeeding by going back to basics. I mean, trying to be actually what people want. Yeah, trying to be what people want. Now, again, I haven't seen this yet. I've seriously considered watching it. Um, and I've heard mixed things. I've heard some people said, no, it's just as bad, just as cringy as Discovery. It's just, it's it's um, tonally a little more like classic Trek, but there's still a lot of that shit in there. Other people said, no, it's actually a pretty straightforward Star Trek show. It's not uh, as, quote unquote, woke as the other shows. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel. They're just trying to, you know, have a throwback to that. So I don't know yet. Again, I haven't seen it. Now, what's interesting is uh, if Shatner would watch the Orville over over uh, uh, actual Star Trek. Yeah, well, the Orville's actually really good, so. Well, okay. I so, haven't seen the third season, though. Yeah, I'm so. I'm hearing there's a, a complete uh, removal from the rest of the show. Um, that, I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen it yet. So I that can't would be say. the the Disney era. Yeah. So we're trying to play catch up on the Orville. I actually gave up on the Orville after the first couple episodes when it aired originally, because I'm like, this is too jokey, and I'm like, it's kind of dumb. And then as we started watching, people were like, no, give it another chance. So we started watching it, and actually our, our son was like, no, watch the Orville. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. And we started watching it. And I'm like, oh my god, this feels more like next gen, mm -hmm. like uh, Deep Space Nine, than anything that that Paramount Plus is doing. And you know, it's weird. We've actually got actual Star Trek people working yes, on the show. Yes, and and people that care. It's amazing what can happen when you get people that actually care about it. Well, that's I think what what is going to have to happen with a lot of the IP. Like it might be like Doctor Who is completely dead. But if you would get somebody that actually gave a shit about Doctor Who and go make a time travel show mm -hmm. that felt kind of like Doctor Who. It would even, dominate. It would dominate. That's just it. Because what they're doing is you have people that care about something and, and have been fans of it for years and actually want to see it succeed. And then you have people who just like, oh, I, that's a really popular franchise. What can I, how can I use it as my mouthpiece? Yeah. And there is obvious, there's an obvious difference. Yeah. So anyway, um, I just thought it was interesting. It was worth doing a video on having Shatner come out. And I mean, he's 91 years old. He doesn't give a shit. And yeah, just he saying, doesn't care. Just saying, saying like Roddenberry wouldn't approve. I mean, it's the same as like George. Lu At least we've got George Lucas alive saying he does not approve of Disney Star Wars. Uh, they keep trying to bury that. But mm -hmm. he has said on multiple occasions, it's not his Star Wars. It's just not. That's not the story he wanted to tell. It's not what he would have done. And everybody's like, oh, shut up, you old geezer. We own it now. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.